Welcome to a brand new episode of our Expert Talk. I'm Maria, your moderator for today. And let me tell you, if you enjoyed our session on AI-assisted UX last year, you'll definitely love this one, because today we're taking things to the next level. More features, more intelligence, and this time a fresh partner perspective to show you how these innovations come to life in real customer projects. Joining me again is Chris. Uh, one of our leading experts driving innovation in the SAP user experience space. And for the first time, we have Tomasz from Pearl Group, bringing the partner angle and how these um, capabilities are being adopted across SAP Cloud ERP clients. Chris, Tomasz, thank you for joining me today. It's a pleasure to have you on board for this expert talk. Chris, let's start with a quick look back. Can you remind us, please, of what we covered last time? Hey, Maria. Uh, thanks for having me again. When we spoke last time on AI in SAP Cloud ERP, we did touch tool and the first AI-assisted features that are directly embedded in the SAP Fiori Launchpad and in the SAP Fiori Elements-based applications. We looked at the informational, the transactional and the navigational capabilities of Joule. On the AI-assisted feature side, we had a look at EasyFilter that provides you results in SAP Fiori Elements list report based applications based on queries formulated in natural language. Smart Summarization provides you summaries of object pages and the Smart Personalization of My Home allows you to add insights cards purely based on the criteria you specify in your natural language. Right, um, those were the exciting news, um, new features back then. So what has happened since? Oh, we did quite a journey, Maria. Since the release of SAP Cloud ERP in Q3 2025, the AI-assisted features that I mentioned earlier are generally available now. AI-assisted easy filter and smart summarization are available as base features. That means at no additional costs and with unlimited usage for our customers. We added a third feature to the base features, AI-assisted enterprise search. We can have a quick look. AI-assisted enterprise search powers the search field in SAP Fiori Launchpad with generative AI. Once activated in the personal settings of the end users, the search field supports queries in natural language in a similar way as EasyFilter for over 35 business objects in SAP Cloud ERP. The user is always in full control and can review the generated search query based on the natural language input via the AI icon in the search field. That's actually great, uh, Chris. Um, so the base AI assisted features have become a powerful uh, foundation for every um, everyday work, right? And uh, that's um, for free too. Uh, for those of you watching, if you want to learn how to activate these features at no additional cost, as Chris already said, um, you should stay with us until the end. We will also give you a sneak peek at what's coming in the next release. You will not want to miss this. Um, now let's bring in the partner perspective. Tomasz, tell us a bit about Pearl Group. How are you from um, a partner perspective using our or pitching the base AI assisted features to your SAP Cloud ERP customers? First of all, uh, thank you, Marie and Christian, for inviting me to the expert talk. It's my uh, pleasure to be here today. As we at Pearl Group are present in all Nordic countries, we work from mid-side customers to enterprise uh, customers and from retail to manufacturing industries. It gives us an opportunity to advise our customers about the benefits of AI capabilities, but also see how customers are using these features in daily operations. Now, while the all has been there for a while as a daily companion, I'm very excited that SAP is now bringing new features and infusing AI capabilities actual to inside different applications. Since I have been helping our customers with user experience for the past 10 years, building solutions applications that improve end user productivity using sub processes, I see that these AI features inside the applications are helping the heavy users also using the Fiori apps even more efficiently. 
Chris mentioned the easy filter, which enables you to use natural language from search queries. Now think a user in the shop floor using SAP Mobile Start, for example, with Cloud ERP, and he or she can speak to the app and perform searches. How cool is that? And the same will apply to the AIS enterprise search. And maybe this easy filter could be a default option in the app someday. Perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Tomas. That ties in nicely. Um, but these are not yet all features that we covered last time, right, Chris? No, actually not. Um, besides the base AI-assisted features, uh, we do also have the premium one. Premium AI features do require SAP AI units. That means they are not free of charge. But more interesting is our currently running beta testing program. We are currently beta testing five AI-assisted features and two agents. If you still want to jump on the beta testing train, kindly register via the QR code which you are seeing currently. We conduct the beta testing until the next release of SAP Cloud ERP in Q1 2026. One of the features that is currently in beta testing um, I want to highlight is AI-assisted EasyFill. It helps you to create and change objects very efficiently. We can take a quick look. Mm -hmm. EasyFill allows you to use texts, lists, or key value pairs to update data in SAP Fiori Elements based object pages. Here in this example, a communication about a required change in a sales order comes in via email. The end user pulls the text of the email and enters it into EasyFill. The AI-assisted feature can recognize the fields of the underlying object and propose the changes to be done to those fields. The end user always stays in full control and can review and adjust the uh, proposed changes by finally confirming the object and data is updated in Cloud ERP. AI-assisted EasyFill does not only work for the app to change sales orders, but over 1,000 SAP Fiori elements-based applications in SAP Cloud ERP. As mentioned, we do also have the first tool agents in beta testing. The accounting accruals agents and agent and the cash management agent help you to automate your finance processes. I love this. Thanks, Chris. Um, now my question goes to Tomasz. Have you already made any experience with uh, beta testing campaigns in SAP Cloud ERP? Uh, yes, we have. We are actively participating in the beta testing campaigns and testing new features. We use our own sub-cloud ERP tenant to test and evaluate how these new features would fit our customers' needs and processes. It also gives us a one step ahead, and we use this opportunity to advise our customers what features they should activate and how to take them into use when they are released. Being part of the beta testing gives us good possibilities of taking first glimpse of the AI features and giving feedback on how to make them to meet our customer needs and improve the user experience even further. Mm -hmm. Thank you um, for your insights. Chris, what is next? Yeah, actually, that's a good question. Uh, let's start with the features of the current beta testing that are planned to be generally available with the next release of SAP Cloud ERP in Q1 2026. We plan to have AI-assisted smart personalization for applications and AI-assisted error explanation ava available as part of the premium features. Mm -hmm. AI-assisted EasyFill, as well as AI-assisted smart solutions for situations in my home, will stay another round in beta testing. Mm -hmm. But I'm super excited to give you a glimpse on an uh, exciting next feature that we plan to bring into beta testing in Q1 26, the um, so-called AI-assisted smart helpers. We give end users the possibility to specify a business outcome once more in natural language, in a design time and create a smart helper for that ideally repetitive task. In that design time, an end user can specify the problem to be solved by the smart helper and in addition also upload a policy document if required. Mm -hmm. A business outcome could be, for example, to accelerate sales orders for which the delivery date already has passed to speed up uh, the delivery processes to keep customers happy. 
Once the problem statement is defined, the Smart Helper design time will create an execution plan specifying the SAP Fiori apps that are required to, to achieve the desired outcome. All Smart Helpers of a particular end user will always be available to the end user in my home. The thought process here is that Smart Helpers are frequently used and the end users can always review progress and status of the Smart Helper. In addition, the end user has always full control of the execution of the smart helpers and get looped in when changes are proposed and need to be validated and accepted. We call that human in the loop. That sounds really promising. Um, Tomas, do you already foresee any use case for the smart helpers that you would love to test um, in the upcoming beta testing campaign? Yes, for sure. Uh, when I first thought glimpse of this AI assisted smart helper, it kind of ringed the bell immediately. So many use cases came to my mind where smart helpers would really benefit the users to take care of these repetitive tasks and usually tasks that tend to be forgotten sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's jump to the shop floor again. As a maintenance worker, you can have multiple notifications or orders open, even though the actual action or repair work is already done, house book or, and so on. So imagine you have a smart helper that you run effortlessly, follow the execution plan and check all the open objects, give you control and then decide to what to do them. And compare this to the situation where you need to go through the list item by item. So that's really helping end users with this kind of a helpers. And Chris and my example are just taught how the smart helper will again improve productivity and daily operations in the subcloud ERP. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you, Chris, for sharing your insights and expertise with me um, and with our audience today. Now, as promised, before we wrap this up, let me quickly explain how you can activate the base AI assisted features for free. It is really simple. Um, just accept the SAP I terms by scanning the QR code that you can see on the screen right now. And once you've done that, these base AI assisted features will be activated automatically by SAP and you will receive an email with a confirmation and the remaining last mile configuration in your systems. And that's it. Now you are able to use the base AI assisted features at no additional costs. Also, make sure to watch out for the upcoming 2602 release communication, where you will find all the latest updates on the beta testing and even more exciting AI-assisted UX innovations coming your way. Don't forget to like and share this video and drop a comment to tell us which AI-assisted UX feature you're most excited about. You can also check out our SAP community for more insights and discussions or reach out to us at insights4 at sap.com if you'd like to connect directly. Thank you for watching and see you next time.